easy one. With the pandemic creating educational challenges for students as they transition to remote learning, community leaders in the Bronx set out to improve their learning experience. I feel blessed because he needs it and it's going to come in handy. And, you know, with all the what's going on with the pandemic, this is just exactly what I don't need to worry about is having to buy one. So I thank them. Lisa and her son Levi Kane joined families at the Bronx Municipal Building as students gathered to receive Chromebooks. The more than benefit from it because he's doing good in he's doing good in school, and this is just going to help. It's going to alleviate some of the stress off of me as a parent. Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. handed out 400 Chromebooks in honor of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, we know that this pandemic has devastated the Bronx in many different ways. Uh, but it's also put a tremendous strain on the education of the students of the Bronx, where through distance learning, many of them don't have the, uh, the equipment or devices to learn from home. The two-day distribution took place in hopes of addressing the technological inequities that Bronx children face. So this is our way of putting devices directly in the hands of students whose family cannot afford them, who didn't get, receive anything from the Department of Education. And so I'm proud that my team and I were able to be a part of this. The Adnan Foundation provided a donation of $200,000 to make the event possible for the second year in a row. As the borough president, I'm going to assign a lot of capital funding. I'm going to call upon my colleagues in government to do the same thing so that we can make the Bronx whole next year. The Bronx borough president also asked other organizations who have the means to donate in order to help Bronx students. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran.